So I'm going to show you about the Unity UI slider component. To create a slider, right click on your canvas, down to UI and slider. Slider is made up of four pieces. You've got your main slider logic, uh, the slider specific logic being down the bottom here as the direction left to right, right to left, up to up, up to down, uh, min max values. If you want to snap it to whole numbers, so if you've got, for example, six, it will snap one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of going smoothly between the, the float values. And then you've got a manual value slider here. Next, we've got the background there. We've got the fill area, which is comprised of the parent, which is the actual area that the fill will be going, as well as the actual sprite there. And in the same way, we've got our, our handle area, and then our actual handle sprite, okay? Now, if you think it's a bit ugly and you wanna change it, which I do, uh, you'll need four, uh, three sprites. You'll need a slider background, foreground, and point. So select your background, drag in your slider background, select your foreground, put in your foreground, and then select your handle and put in your handle. Now, you'll notice a few things. I'll just scale this up so we can see it a bit better. You'll notice a few things. Firstly, the foreground stretches, which doesn't look too good. So to fix that, go to your foreground, change it from simple to filled, and then horizontal. And as we're going from left to right, left is perfectly fine. So now you'll see that it fills instead of stretches, which looks much better. Next, you'll see that our handle kind of doesn't go all the way to the edges there. So to fix that, I'll put my slider down to there and I'll do my get my handle slide area and I'll just move it just so it fills there. And then I'll pull my slider to the edge so I can see where that goes and I will pull it to there. So now my slider goes all the way to the edges and that looks pretty good. Now we'll hook it up to update that text on value change. Now, one little disclaimer. Uh, in Unity 2019 and 2020, I've found that this on value changed trigger is always broken. I can never get it to work. There's issues in the forum about it as well, but it just doesn't seem to ever get fixed. So what you can do is create a script. Let's call it a slider script. And we'll open that up. And we'll need some references here. We'll get a reference to a slider. And then we'll get our reference to our text, slider text. Next, in our start method, let's attach our event listener. So slider, on value changed, and we will add a listener. Now in here, we will uh, it will give us a new value. So let's call that V and Let's say every time that the value changes, we're going to take our value uh, slider text equals a new value to string. And let's format it just so there's two decimal places because it's probably going to be massive. Now on our slider, let's attach our scripts. Let's pull in our slider our value text and let's try that out. There you go. So that should be just about everything you need to know about the slider. Uh, if you learned something, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.